Okay. things where like we don't you know our, our goal isn't to like you know put ourselves like in a spot where no one else is at like to distinguish ourselves like because of our beliefs like we're really big on just like you know being you know as just cool with everyone as possible you know like because I, I think a lot of people think that since we're a Christian band like you know when we go on tour with bands that aren't Christian that it's just a weird like standoffish thing where it's not you know, because we're, we're really open about what we, what we believe, but also we're really open about the fact that we don't expect everyone to agree with us. And I think that when you have that, like, that understanding, it, 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 it makes for, you know, a lot of people being a lot more accepting of even just the music, I think. So it's... Yeah, because I noticed you guys have a lot of non-Christian followers as well as Christian followers. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. And, and I, you know, I think it's just, that's an important thing, you know, not like, you know, saying, oh, well, since I'm a Christian and you're not, like, This next one, it might may, may be a kind of a touchy issue. If it is, I apologize. How was Aaron leaving the band? How did it affect you guys? Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it affected you guys. <laughs> um, it, it was a, uh, you know, it was definitely a, like, a mutual thing. Like, I mean, obviously there was a whole lot that, that went into it. Like, you know, lots of personal things and whatnot. But the, the gist of it is, you know, he didn't want to do it anymore. And we didn't really want him to do it anymore. So, um, you know, even just musically, I think it was better for everyone involved, you know, because I, I talked to him not long ago, and, you know, he's doing a, a solo record now, and, uh, you know, we're done with Arnie record, and, you know, we're way happier with what we've done than we would have ever been if, you know, he was still with us. Because, you know, we were making a lot of compromises as far as music goes, but, you know, and he's super stoked on what he's doing. And it's, you know, I think musically and personally it was just better for everyone the way it turned out so like he's he's stoked on how it turned out and so are we so yeah um why are the albums acts of depression and cries of the past no longer in print um <laughs> <laughs> no um daniel <laughs> i just really felt like they just to repress those and just be it's, there's a special edition. I mean, it's a. Uh, they're in a vault in, in the past that doesn't need to be reopened. You were pretty special. much. Uh, when they were. When we signed Through the Nail, we had you know, Chasing Safety and Chain of Times. Like, it came up a couple times, but our style has changed so much that putting that out and then advertising it as this is reissue or whatever would just cause kids to probably want to hear those songs more than they did before and just be like such a headache because we're not into playing that style of music anymore personally and just you know it's just one of those things where it didn't make sense for us so you can download them very easily on any website on yeah. the internet for free <laughs> cover them in your band please uh what's the craziest thing that's happened to you guys on tour craziest thing crazy, crazy. tour stories uh everybody's got i think Sam had to jump into, and we had to get like a kayak and some. 
guy with his jeans like bundled up, his air pockets came out there and helped him out. It was pretty crazy. He had to get like cut out of his jersey. He was swallowed a bunch of water and almost died. It's pretty intense. He survived though. He's still <laughs> kicking it. Didn't the guy with the jeans just like run off? He just disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. He came out, took his jeans off, tied the legs, put it over the water to make like an air pocket. Helped him out like a rat, like a I guess you call it like a flotation device, whatever. Yeah, it's a military trick. Yeah, yeah. Got him on shore and then disappeared. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he had priors. <laughs> uh, what are your values and beliefs as as a band? Um. Damn. <laughs> no, I I think it's I think it's weird because like you know we're you know we're a Christian band you know we all believe in you know, Jesus, but it's one of those things where, like, that's kind of where it ends as far as, like, what we all agree on, because I think on uh, on most topics, um, individually anyway, um, we all have a lot of different viewpoints. Like, you know, there's things that, you know, I see eye to eye with, with certain news, and then there's things that we're completely on the other end of. Like, it, it would just be on a, on a uh, case-by-case basis, I think. Um, you know, it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird, because, you know, we, I, I think it's the same thing, like, even, like, musically with us, like, you know, we all like such different styles of music, but we can come together and agree on what we do, and, uh, I think it kind of goes the same way with beliefs. We all like being good people. We like to not be... Very positive people. Yeah, we are a very positive group of individuals. All right, and, um, do you guys have any side projects going on besides what you're doing now? Not me. No. Nothing, nothing. That's kind of side project. TV no. side project. It's considered a side project. <laughs> Nothing really worth mentioning. mentioning yeah, it's not very good, so we just won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. and, um, Joking, it's good. Where do you guys see yourself in the future? Um, still doing this, maybe? Yeah, hopefully. 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 If possible. <laughs> the way the industry's going, probably not. <laughs> but hopefully. Well, you guys rock, so I mean. Definitely still have us as fans. Well, thank you very much. I don't, I don't just work for the magazine, um, I'm also a fan. Well, thank you very, very much. So we have a four year old daughter who's a fan as well. Where's she at? Why is she not hanging out? I was just. Give her the big shotgun at the I was worried that she liked to be all over the place and yeah. I just didn't want to lose her. Especially <laughs> where we had to interview every single band and go in all these different yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. I, a little too hectic for yeah, her. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, I mean, she rocks out to um, Tim's uh, side project, Austrian Death Machine. <laughs> awesome. She, she sings Get to the Chopper. <laughs> That's awesome. She, she loves this. You know, she, she loves the whole Umbrella. scene. That's great. That's awesome. Raise her up on good tunes. Yes. I definitely appreciate you guys taking oh, the time no, out. Yeah, no problem. You guys are busy. You got some, got some stuff to prepare for. Yeah, it's, I was busy mapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely nice to uh, see some Florida people. Dude, cool. where are you guys from in Florida? West Palm. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm, I'm more from like the West Coast, Bradenton, Tampa, oh, Sarasota. Cool. Sweet. I actually just moved back to Florida. We moved to Brooksville. So. Random. And do you guys have a problem with me taking pictures while you're performing? No, uh, that's fine. Yeah, as long as... If you guys leave me an um, uh, email, I'll forward all the pictures. Yeah, for sure. I'll, I can give you uh, I can give you mine, I guess, or 